Greetings, everyone. Keith Schweigert here with your two-minute drill for Friday night's Lancaster Lebanon League Section 2 showdown between Lebanon and Ephrata. This game's going to kick off Friday night at 7 in Ephrata. This one's a clash between two teams who have really gotten off to a rocky start in the early going. Both are still looking for their first win. And now there's a little bit of added pressure on Ephrata because Peckway Valley uh, snapped a 29-game losing streak last week against Fleetwood. That was the longest losing streak in the LL League. Well, now that they're off the schneid, it's up to Ephrata. They've lost 13 in a row going back to last year. Call it a gut feeling, but I think the mounts might be due here. Yeah, they're 0-3, but they've been competitive in two of those games, at least uh, on the final score tally. The only game that they really got blown out was against Lancaster Catholic, and there's no shame in that because Catholics, you know, they, they make a habit out of doing that, and they'll be doing that pretty soon in Section 3. Like most teams that struggle, Effort is having all kinds of problems moving the ball. They average just 63 yards a game on the ground, 74 per game through the air. That's not going to get it done. And what's worse for them is their defense is having some problems at well, as well. Last week, Warwick rushed for 282 yards against them. The week before that, Catholic pretty much did whatever they wanted on both sides of the ball, and Township almost had 200 yards on the ground against them in their win over Ephrata in week one. So what's the silver lining for Ephrata? Well, this week they get a team that's been struggling just as much. Lebanon's also 0-3. They got blasted last week, 51-14 by Elko. Uh, the Cedars' offense is called the Air Raid No Huddle. So far this year, it's been the Air Raid No Offense. Uh, when they had the no huddle going, it was with James Capello at quarterback. He was a four-year starter. He graduated, and the, they've really been struggling uh, to w with replacing him and with moving the ball. It's tough because you have to learn on the fly, and that's Alex Troutman, their, their new quarterback. He's been having some problems, you know, getting some on-the-job training. He's 40 of 80 for 452 yards and two touchdowns, but he's been picked off twice. So he's doing pretty well. The problem is they have no running game whatsoever. Their top rusher has 42 yards on 17 carries. That's John Thurman. That's not going to get it done. Lebanon's defense has also really been getting shredded this year. They gave up 283 yards per game. Most of that's come on the ground. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one turns out. There aren't a lot of gimmies left in the schedule for either team, so now that section plays here. So if they want to turn it around, the time is now to get going. I'm like an effort in this one. I think they're at home. I think they've been a little more competitive in their games than Lebanon, even though the stats don't really show it. I like Ephrata to pick up their first win of the season and snap that 13-game losing streak.